when I first came to the program, I mean, you was one of the main people I looked up to and I used to listen to all the time. Bro. But as as as, I, as we start going on in, in the program, I start seeing little things, man. You know, <coughs> what I see you say, what I see you do is two different things. Is that true, Earl? Well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I heard what you were saying. Is that true that you know you know all the things to say? You're saying all the things that, quote unquote, staff might want to hear. <clears throat> and then when you get around the corner, you're doing things differently. I think sometimes it might be true. That's <laughs> all. Hey, well, I, that's not the focus is on me. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I'm, okay. I'm leaving okay. it there. Okay, you can respond. I, I could respond, respond in any kind of way. Uh, in the therapeutic community, as we'll come to talk about it, one of the, the real requirements is that the individual has to constantly be practicing absolute honesty as an individual. It's not simply to have them have the nice value of honesty, although that's critical. But when we say we demand honesty, absolute honesty in the program, is because we're really addressing the disorder. It's not simply that we wa want an honest environment. We do. But we really are essentially, as a first requirement, say you have to learn absolute honesty because it's been the dishonesty that's been part of your disorder.